three. Good afternoon. It's half past one on the 9th of April. A very warm, sunny day. And I'm going to show you how to cross pollinate Saracenia flowers and the way I go about doing it here on the nursery at Hampshire Carnivorous Plants. Now, I don't use a brush myself, I use a, a small piece of wire, just flattened out the end to make a small spatula or spoon. Now, decide which two plants I want to cross. So here I'm going to use this Saracenia purpurea uh, burkii and cross it with this Flava ornata to make a cat's eye. These are both really nice plants, they're both really vigorous, so I think I make a really good cross. And how I go about doing this is, there's one single flower on this purpurea, so I'm going to use one of these flowers here, which is dropping pollen. I'll lift the petal up, you can see the anthers here dropping their pollen. Can you see the pollen? To make it clear, I'll take this umbrella off so you can see it. Now you don't need to do this, it's just to make it clear. There's the pollen. I'll use a spatula to pick the pollen up, like this. That's the pollen there. Then I apply the pollen to the stigma of this purpurea. And you can see I can really push it. Can you see it there? A little nodule. And again, under there. Again here. Around once more. There. I use a spatula because you can really sort of push it home and it does stick on there really well. And also, I said earlier it's half past one, I find this is quite important. Midday when it's really warm, the pollen tends to stick on the stigma really well. And again onto this one. I won't do that just once, I'll do that probably for three days in a row. I don't use a muslin bag over the flowers here in the UK and the south here. There aren't any insects around at all at this time of year. I know you do run the risk of getting cross-pollination. I do put little uh, hessian or net, sorry, uh, net bags over the flowers uh, later in the season, but at the moment it's very early. I don't find there's any need to do that. So once that's been done two or three days in a row, the ovary starts to swell and around about October time, the ovary is full of seed. You can normally get about four to five hundred seed in each in each plant. You can see here, the ovary is just in here. This purpurea, just scratching the surface of it. This will crack open, and then the plant will start to release its seed. You can either sow the seed straight away or stratify the seed in a refrigerator. And once the seeds have germinated, it normally takes six to eight weeks to germinate you'll get young seedlings and these here are about a year old. Now the fun part with hybridising Saracenia is that all the hybrids remain fertile and you can make all manner of shapes and sizes and colours. You choose the plants you want to make. Um, you can speed plants on by giving them a bit more warmth to bring their flowers up quicker or you can slow them back by keeping them somewhere a bit cooler, enabling you to cross plants which don't always flower at exactly the same time. So the ones we've just done today are actually in flower now. I haven't needed to do anything with them. They just flowered naturally and I've crossed them. So this will then be labelled, the flower will remain on the plant and then we can collect the seed towards the end of the growing season. So I hope that's been of some help.